You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hard covers soft. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Book Reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have a book review to share with you, you guys. But before I get into that, an explanation what happened yesterday. Well, I didn't get my book read the way I wanted it to. And it was super late. And it was just super weird not to um, record or finish a book yesterday. And as you guys know, Thursdays are not my usual um, posting days for the book reviewer. So, um, like I said on my Facebook post, um, I was going to do a video to kind of make up for yesterday, so here it is. Um, so, with that out of the way, um, well, next week will be a regular week. It will be a week where videos will be on time and you guys will see them every Tuesday and Wednesday. And I may consider adding Thursdays as well. We'll see. Um, this has been kind of a build up because I know my first videos were probably about a week apart and then I realized Oh, I want this to do this more often, so I upped it to two days a week. Um, so it's a work in progress. Anyway, um, the book that I just finished with for y'all was um, a book two in the Vacation Sweetheart series. So if you'll remember, last week I did um, book one. I will put it back up in the cards above, so you can go check that out. If you had not realized that I was doing a series. Um, this series is by Jane Thompson. And it's called the... What is it? The... Um, Vacation Sweetheart series. Now, originally, um, I had thought that this was just a two-book series. Um, the first one was... Um, not Reach For Me, but, um, Smile For Me, and then the second one was Reach For Me. However, there seems to be, uh, three more books in this series. Um, I think originally maybe it was a two-book series, but then that may have been all that they had at the time for information on it. Um, so this is a book... This is a Christian romance, and this is heavily, heavily into what the Bible says and, and things like that. The, they intertwine the biblical messages um, that are interwoven in between the characters and the situations that they are facing. So that part was pretty cool. Here's what this is about. Reach For Me is book two in USA Today's best-selling author Jane Thompson's Vacation Sweetheart's collection of contemporary Christian romance novels celebrating the immeasurable grace and the undeserved mercy of God. These Vacation Sweetheart novels are a spin-off of Jan's inspirational Savannah Sweetheart series. Highly decorated for his heroism and fighting terrorism on behalf of his grateful nation, Keenan has given enough to his country. Yet his enemies are going after him and his former team members in an act of personal vengeance. To protect his family, Keenan leads a trail away from Britain. Off the grid, he is incognito and remote resort in the mountains of Tennessee. While waiting for his storm to pass, he meets an American girl who is hiding for a very different reason in the same misty mountains. In be bearing the burden of a mistake riddled life, prodigal adopted daughter Phoebe Pace has nowhere else to go. She finds solace in the Great Smoky Mountains, living in quiet regard 
What is she going to do with her new neighbor encroaching on her private personal space? Why is he so friendly to her? So delightful to be with. So charming. So inquisitive. Just when Phoebe begins to think she might open her heart up to Keenan, her the ex-soldier's unfinished business puts her in a crisis she never experienced before, and danger comes knocking on the wrong door. So this is a <coughs> excuse me. As you have noticed, it's a Christian romance. It is suspense. It's a not really a thriller, but a, a suspense a kind of mystery, so to speak. Um, it's really not a... Well, it is kind of a mystery, yeah. So this has five books in the series. Um, according to this, the Amazon um, explanation for the book. And this one was a little bit long to read um let me see this had 316 pages and about 36 chapters guys so it was a little bit of a long read but so worth it because um i could not wait until i got my hands on that book and it was worth it it was very nice to be able to read some of Jen Thompson's books again um, after reading that first one that I really really liked um, so this book especially like I said is a really it's it's a suspense it's a romance and it has religion in it so it's it's an interesting combination, but I think it's a good read. Um, there may be some things in there that may appeal to older adults, adults, um, religious fanatics alike. So um, there's something for everyone in here. Um, I really liked it. I. Hope to be reading one of Jan Thompson's books very, very soon. I don't know how soon that will be, but this will be a, a series that I will keep going with because I'm that fanatical about it. But, um, so this is a good book. Over 300 pages. It seems a little bit longer to me, but it was, it was good. I was really tired last night and I only thought of going to bed and as you guys saw from my Facebook post I'm like well I can probably um, do a video tomorrow which is today so um, thanks for bearing with me you guys um, next week we'll be back to normal um, that's all we have for you today I will put affiliate links in the description below to where you might find this book um have you guys read this book did you like it did you hate it i want to know the book reviewer wants to know hashtag the book reviewer wants to know thanks for watching you guys thanks for subscribing keep reading don't stop believing and we will see you again soon goodbye